I am Mark Rushton um, and I'm delighted to be moderating today um, the future proofing of pulp and paper mills. We have an excellent panel and I'm delighted to be here. Hello, my name is Sami Saarela. I'm from UPM Pulp Business and coming here to Vienna for roundtable discussion. Hello, my name is Isman Ousianen. I come from Major Group from Finland and I'm taking part to the roundtable discussion. Hello, I'm uh, Matt Maasen from uh, Smurf & Kappa, um, working at the Department of Paper Production Technology and I'm um, happy uh, to be here for, on, on the invitation of uh, Andrits to join the forum discussion. Hello, I'm Harri Quintus and I'm pleased to be here in Vienna in this roundtable discussion with my very good customers who are also some coming from, from Finland. Hello, my name is Björn Hansen from Andritz. Uh, looking forward to participating in today's roundtable discussion. So, thank you to our panelists for joining our roundtable discussion um, on uh, future proofing of the pulp and paper industry and making your facilities ready for the future. So, first of all, what is future proofing? The basic definition of future proofing is the ability of any one entity to continue to be of value into the distant future. But in the case of the pulp and paper mills, it's actually not that. Um, easy, shall we say, because there's a, there's a lot of numerous working and moving parts and components that need to be taken into account of. Sammy, could you please start and give us UPM's, what is the strategy of UPM going forward? We strongly believe that there is a need to replace non-renewable materials with, with renewable materials. We believe that there is growing demand for pulp, so we like to grow in pulp. Also believing that pulp is so good business that that's a long term, it's make, going to make enough money to allow us to develop then other things to do with the wood-based materials, some biochemical building blocks and, and things like that. From the wood. Excellent. And Ismo, would you like to um, pick up from there and tell us what Metsa Fiber strategy is towards the future? Yes, uh, we approach this future proofing by looking at the mega trends mm -hmm. and global trends which are changing actually the consumption behavior of all of us and, and also the tractor of economics. And, and the basic question is that how you can answer to challenges and, and fulfill the expectation of these megatrends. Mm -hmm. Like we all know there is, uh, for example, the climate change, mm -hmm. population growth, mm -hmm. aging of population, urbanization, mm -hmm. these kind of trends. And then if we look at the forest industry, and for example, this climate change. We have the renewable raw material. We have a very solid crowd to, to get the answer and, and fulfill the expectation. But of course, we have to look at our processes and our products. For example, that our products can replace the fossil-based materials, for example, in the packaging. Thank you. And moving on to you, Matt, now. So, Matt, you're looking after um, paper machines um, yes. throughout Smurfit Kappa. So, can you give us your view on your Smurfit Kappa strategy going forward? Um, well, as you probably, I hope you all know, our slogan is uh, Open the Future. And that slogan, slogan is resulting from the fact that we have a strong belief, now, now we, we are really convinced that uh, for the long-term future, Wood and paper and fiber-based materials are really the, the, the way to go. It's, it's, it's part of the solving of the, of the future of this world. So, and um, uh, we, we have a strong belief that we still, we, we will not be fully recycling, but we, we have a strong belief that we keep on using also virgin materials. 
uh, and we, we, we would like to go in the direction that you make more out of it, as, as you said before. It's, it's not only paper, it can make a lot of more uh, uh, valuable materials that, that will replace fossil fuel or fossil uh, material based materials. And that's, uh, that's uh, our strong belief that we have to go that, that direction. Mm -hmm. Well, the slogan, open up the future, open the future, it's, it's for that reason. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, internally we have an additional one that is uh, that we want to have sustainability in every fiber. Mm -hmm.